Okay, so let's get started with the lesson 24 stepper motor. The last one was quite good. We did this server motor, so I don't really know the difference between a server motor and a stepper motor, but eh, let's find out. We need the Uno R3, the breadboard, the stepper motor driver module. Then we need the stepper motor itself, the 9 volt 1 amp power adapter, the DC one, the power supply module, and then six female to male wires this time. Okay, and one male to male. Interesting. Okay, so. Okay, so a stepper motor is an electrical mechanical device which converts electrical pulses into discrete mechanical movements. The shaft or spindle of a stepper motor rotates. Uh, so I was going to read this, but I'll just skip it. I mean, I actually don't, I haven't learned about servo motors yet, but I'll do this in my own time. And if you guys are interested, obviously just give it a read. Feel free to pause the video. All right, and then so we've got some stepper motor parameters here. So just telling us about the stepper motor. Interface and circuit. So this is the circuit. Then we've got a product description of the driver board. Okay, so it's an IC on an actual, on its own little um, board. Then we've got simplest way of interfacing a unipolar stepper. So Arduino is to use a breakout, so to use that board basically. Okay, and so it looks like we're going to connect the Arduino to the board, to the, to the first four pins of the board. And then we're going to connect the stepper motor to pin 13 to 16. To the stepper motor. And then we're going to ground everything and connect it to 5 volts as well. Okay. So there's our schematic, which is fairly straightforward, really. So the Arduino uh, and the IC, so grounding the IC to the Arduino. And then the motor is connected, the IC, the chip, the board, sorry, the, the driver board. And the driver board goes to 5 volts. Okay, nice. What would you look at that? That is one simple wiring diagram. I mean, so realistically, it looks like on here, you don't really need the breadboard because you could just connect these rail, the ground and five volts straight into these pins here. We've got five volts, right? So, but we'll, I'll stick to this uh, wiring diagram. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we've got our Arduino here. Uh, we've got our stepper motor here. Interesting. I don't really get the point of a step motor. I assume it means that it turns in increments. Okay, so, and then we've got our driver board here. So, connect it all up. All right, so we've got a ground pin from the Arduino going into a ground here. Okay, and then we're obviously connecting our step motor into this driver board. So that just goes in there, like that. Okay, and then we've got our different pins here so I've, i'm trying to keep it color coded so i've got yellow into eight purple into nine then blue in ten and eleven in or green into eleven okay so we've got green coming over here into the top one green in there next we've got blue i'm crossing my wires here with Blue, and then we've got purple. Okay, so that's fully connected. Doesn't really fit. Let me get some double sided tape. Keep that there. And then now we just need our ground and BCC over here. So, what do we use for that? We use normal female to male, right? Okay, so we've got our red and black pins here. So, we go. Okay, so we've got five. So it says it's an input of five to 12 volts. Look there. We've got input five, anywhere from five to 12 volts. So this is VCC, positive. And this is. Yeah. And connect that to. There we go. Job done. That's our little circuit. Okay, so here we go. We've got stepper motor control, one revolution. This program drives a unipolar or bipolar stepper motor. I assume we've got a bipolar one. The motor is attached to digital pins 8 to 11 of the Arduino. The motor should revolve one revolution in one direction, then one revolution in another direction. So it's like a servo motor, but instead of just 180, 360 degrees. Okay, so before we get into the actual setup function here, we've got, you know, including the header file, and then we've got some variables which we're declaring steps per revolution, 2048. And then we've got roll per minute. Adjustable range of 28 BYG 48 stepper is 0 
to 17 RPM. Initialize the step library on pins 8 for 11. Okay. And then we've got, not sure what this is doing here. I assume this bit roll per minute has to do with here. We're set, okay, we're setting our speed 15, I believe, here. Then we're starting the serial monitor here. Okay, and then we've got step one revolution one direction. And we're print so we're printing clockwise and we're saying my stepper dot step sets per revolution. Okay, so that's 2048. So we're setting this to 2048. And then we're doing it minus 2048. Okay, so let's run it and see what happens. Upload. Okay, nothing so far. Maybe I need to include the header. Okay, so it says clockwise. I'm not getting anything. Oh, I haven't turned on my uh, power supply module. There you go. That turned one way, then the other. Quite slow, to be honest. I assume this is more powerful just from looking at it than the server motor. Interestingly, our LEDs have lit up. Hmm. So look here, three of them light up and when it goes the other way. So let's see if we can increase it here. We go to, I don't know, 20 or 25. Upload. I can, it's moving in my hand. Like I can feel it vibrating, but it's not actually moving. Okay. So it said zero to 17, I think. Let's go to 17. Upload. I can see here in the comments, it says adjustable 0 to 17. Okay, there you go. One way, the other. Yeah, and it actually does a full 360. Okay. So let's make it five. It'd go a lot slower. So this would be good for an open close system. There you go. A lot slower. Okay, so we adjust it using, you know, zero to 17. See there, it's a lot slower. All right, so I assume here, so where we've got sets per revolution, if I put 2048 there, and in here, minus 2048, it will still work, right? Because that's just declaring a variable. So I wonder if I can change that. Okay, first, let's see if this works. 2048. I'd like to know what this is doing. Okay, yeah, so it still works. So let me change these back to steps for revolution. Then let's come up here. What if I make this a thousand instead of two thousand? Hold. Still moving, but I could. There's a different feel of vibration in my hand now. Let's just change it to seventeen again, so we've got the fastest one. I'm thinking it might have to do with. I don't know how smooth it moves. So this is seventeen. I'm not sure. It doesn't really make sense to me. Let's change it to 48. Okay, yeah. So I, I assume 2048 is going to be like a smooth in, smooth turning. And then like 48, for example, is going to be deep, 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 like a more chunky turn. So that's what I think anyways. All right. Upload. Uh, it has to do with like a pulsing. So I can't, it's not moving right now. But I'm getting like a jittery pulse while well, before in terms of vibration in my hand, right? Because I'm holding it. So before I was getting a zzz, zzz, now it's getting de -de 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 -de. so I assume that has something to do with it. Uh, um, let's try 548. Okay, so yeah, that's going. Ah, look at that. So it's not going 360 degrees anymore. That's so interesting. So, okay. So it has more to do with how much it rotates. Because look, that's only, that's instead of going 360, that's going about 90 degrees. So it was that way. Yeah, just over 90 degrees that one's turning. Okay, so 90 degrees is about 548. 2000 would then be obviously 360 degrees. So what if I make it 3000? Would it would it spin more than 360? Can it do that? 
Can server motors do more than 360? So we're currently straight. Let's see what happens. No, it's not working. It's not working. Let's go back to 2000. 2000 should just work as normal. There you go. Just a fast move 360 degree rotation. Okay, so I understand the code now. Okay, so let's, um, I'm thinking, let's try, okay, let's try this. Because what I would use this for is something like, you know, once I press something on my phone, then I want it to open something or close something. So I would use like an if statement and I would say x equal to, I don't know, uh, I can't think, input variable. I don't, forgive me, I can't think, is equal to uh, open. All right, then you would do this and... If close, then do this. Okay. Now we just need to declare this input variable. So, how do you do strings in um, Saver? Not like that. Like that? Fingers like that. So, input variable. And if it's equal to open, that needs to be like that. Oh, I don't know, people. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's, let's try that. Then let's do, let's do this. Else if, I don't know. Isn't it? The program just won't do anything then. Like that. That's fine. We can leave it like that. Print opening. Closing. Like that upload oops what happened so has this has it worked let's see zero monitor there's not printing anything then if i do open oh, wait what no that didn't work oh i need to basically store this input variable into something in the zero monitor Oh dear, I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to guess here that uh, I'm going to probably have to do input variable. Okay. And we're going to have to set that to serial dot. This is where if it had like the drop down menu. Helpful. I believe it's going to be read the string. That looks like that. It accepted that. Read string. Can't forget these two brackets. That. I think. If I remember correctly. That. It didn't like that. I'm trying to convert a string to a character. Okay. That's a simple fix, isn't it? We just need to come up here and do string. Upload. Oops. Need a capital S. Interesting. There you go. You can see here I'm learning on the fly, people. All right. So let's get our serial monitor open. Now type in open. Close. Okay. Well, I tried, but can't think of another way to do this really. Unless it's possible that you do it like this. I mean, the other thing that I could do is I could open one of the there's a, the um the LEDs. That tutorial use something similar to this. So, all right, let's try to take a look at this other tutorial. So here, in all right, I think it's in the starter kit. So I'm just gonna go to that. Sorry if you guys don't have that. So the starter kit, and then here. It was this, oh wait, this one, serial monitor, I believe it was this one. Yeah, so it was reading in a character, serial dot read, read, okay, so, this, I think I was close, go back to our code, what did I put? 
I put input variables equal zero dot string. I put so okay, so I put read string. So can I just put read? Like just like that? Maybe. Try this. The thing is, one thing I just thought about, which I mean shouldn't be the case, but with C, for example, when you press an enter, it would read in your enter input as well. So you'd have to include that. That might be causing an issue for me, but try and maybe declare it here instead of outside. Open. Okay, let's let's try a character instead, right? So ch was it ch? Oh, okay, char. So char input variable, and then let's do just read. Okay, and let's do o for open, and c for close. Code. Didn't like this. O, c. So what do we have here? Okay, so if char. Okay, and then they've just got one. So I'm using double quotations. All right, there you go. Upload. Oh, there you go. Look at that. It did it. Opening. D closing. <laughs> I did it. I, I wish I could. I don't know why this. Why would the string one not work? I don't get that. Okay, so then if we did closing and then after that, I did uh, here. Print this here. Closed. Here. Okay, upload. What I might do is I think okay, wait, let's just first test this. But O for opening. When it's finished, to print open. There you go. And C for closing. There you go, it's done closed. Okay, so if I then do if I do C again. Oh wait, it's done it. It's gone back the other way. C Oh no, it's not. Okay, that's interesting. So it just keeps rotating to the right. So what? Server motors can just rotate. Con okay. So I thought it was like the stepper motor, but this can just keep on rotating. Interesting. So I was about to end this video, but now I'm actually intrigued. So could I then do, for example, could I do uh, four int i is equal to zero? I is less than ten. I plus plus. So could I spin it ten times then? Load. So I've just done it on the closed one. So C now for close. We're gonna, gonna do it. C. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I did. So I didn't know that. Okay. I thought it would have just. It could only go backwards and forwards. So look at that. So it's spinning, stops, spinning, stops. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. So there you go. You can actually use the server motor to just continuously keep on spinning. All right, cool. I will end this video here because I know it's been too long. So thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next one. Hopefully, I managed to get the whole string working. That would be cool. Okay, right, guys. See you later.